YouTube, welcome again to channel 48 and thank you for tuning in on this beautiful sunny day. Yeah, in Europe, even though it's a sunny day, things are not going too well in Europe at this moment. So yeah, don't expect me to be very happy or so, cause I'm not, all right? However, I'm still here to show you uh, the best Android 13 build that you can install on your Samsung Galaxy S10, S10 Plus Note 10. Uh, this was only tested on the Exynos models. And uh, yeah, I won't make this a very long video because I as well have some work to do and some ROMs to show as well the rounds for the T210 and T230 tablets are done as well a beautiful room for the G330 FN official beautiful and a beautiful nice room for the G531 F you must prepare the phone let me put you on the tripod and let's get started welcome again to channel 48 Go into a recovery mode. Okay, let's give it a good format data. Let's see how this looks. My mouse is blocked again. This is terrible. Let me grab my USB mouse. Okay, this is good. Uh, we're gonna copy the pixel for. And I copy the Linux OS to the phone. And in fact, I, I, I don't need to know nothing else. Uh, we're just gonna install Linux OS 18. We reboot back into recovery. <clears throat> okay. We do wipe down fix system data and catch and now we install the gsi as a system image And we format a data and select yes. Now we can reboot. Please remember this install procedure, okay? Yes, that's a good sign. Thank you, Dieter. So this is the correct way how to install Android 13 onto your device. We will get a little flash in a second. And then we arrived. And there we are. And we can go ahead and set up our Pixel phone. 
And there we are, we just installed Android T. Set display to dark. Make the display size a little bit bigger. Okay, see anything? And let's set our gestures on the system. Gestures, system navigation, gesture navigation, boom. Okay, so this is uh, the correct way how to install uh, Android 13 onto your device. So you can get your beautiful, oops, your beautiful clocks. This one. Beautiful. Lovely wallpapers. I think you have to connect to the internet. Oh, look at that. I think you still need to connect to the internet because you must download it. You see, cannot download. So it's all good. Uh, nice black and lovely and for the rest you can go try it out this is the very best everything works your wi-fi works bluetooth works uh, name it it all works okay you can even make phone calls so yeah if you're looking for an android 13 that you want to install onto onto your samsung galaxy s10 the s10 plus or the note 10 this is the build that you want all right Link will be in the description. And uh, I would like to ask Nippon to please uh, make their DP builds uh, the way they did with this build. In include the same drivers, etc. Because this is the very best build. So it would be such a shame if you're going to release all sorts of GSIs that don't work. Because the Pixel 6 is not working. The, the, the other that you released, the, the, the 4, is as well not working on this device. That's why it worked before. So, my friends, please think of that and take this build as an example. Discover it. What is so good about this build that it runs on the Samsung Galaxy S10? Don't let this just fade away to then release all sorts of, you know, GSIs that don't work. They should all be based on this one. If they work on the S10, they are good. If they don't work on the S10, they are not good. <laughs> just kidding there, my friends. Thank you so much again for this beautiful work. Nippon, big up to you. And uh, yeah, keep them coming. And remember what I say, make them the way you made this build. This is the master build for the Samsung Galaxy S10. Well, that was easy, like one, two, three. All right, so now you have Android 13 on your Galaxy S10, I would say go ahead, go play with it. Uh, I'm still trying to put it on the S9, but I failed. I keep failing, fail, 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 fail. Not even booting, not attempting to boot, nothing like that. So, yeah, S9, I feel bad for you. <laughs> I feel bad for you, bro. But uh, yeah, the S10 successfully received at least one good build uh, from uh, yeah, Nippon Developers Preview 1, so I could still show you 
the install procedure so those with the s10 can immediately go ahead and install it the right way you don't have to be scared you don't have to download several things only linux os you need and the gsi and you're gonna be good to go well that was it oh yeah don't forget to make backups because you're gonna lose everything it's gonna you know wipe the complete everything so make make backups okay so you know gonna blame me or blame yourself because everything you do is of course uh, for yourself you are uh, the one responsible for whatever you do on, on on your phone even though i show successful installs if you fail it's your fault and never mind <laughs> remember that of course i will always help you i will not laugh at you but if you're gonna point fingers at me then I will have to be just as what they say at XDA. If you point any finger at me, I'm going to laugh at you. <laughs> and I will keep laughing. But still, I, I, I will try to help you as well to fix your thing again. So never point fingers at me if something goes wrong, okay? Always see the fault at yourself. You did not watch the video properly or, or you did not understand what you see in the video. You think you thought you would see milk, cheese and, and honey. Uh, and instead, you saw things that you don't understand. Always try to ask read a whole lot go to xda apostrophe developers.com and out there you know from there you're gonna learn a whole lot just ask your questions there are always people there that want to help you and that want to you know uh, advise you so or just go read the forums if you don't like to type and talk with people you know you will learn the way i did as well so yeah that's it have a beautiful Saturday. I have some other videos coming up, as I said. I have a beautiful ROM for the G330FN. Uh, a beautiful ROM. Exclusive, wor world's only, no UI ROM. This is no UI. No UI X. Yeah, no UI X. No UI X for the g 531F. You see that? No UI. This thing has no UI. Yeah, this is not one UI or two UI. It has no UI. And I'm going to explain that in the video. As you can see, this is a total different. You have a full screen. Uh, uh, yeah, there is no, no pull down menu. There's nothing like that. That doesn't exist in this room. This room has specialities that other rooms don't have <laughs> and why is that that is just because i deleted one little file and i got a brand new experience in android you might not believe it but wait for the video to come make sure you're gonna see the video after this one because it's gonna be a very special one and uh yeah a special one so see you in that one stay uh, stay well if you did not subscribe yet you are free to subscribe it's free and then you'll be seeing me in the next video again or maybe in your live feed <laughs>